In life, you encounter many types of people. Some struggle to respect others' boundaries. Some are clingy and demand much of your time, while others simply seek to exploit others for personal gain. Somehow, many feel obligated to devote their time and energy to others. But why? Perhaps they feel the need to prove themselves or have a strong desire to be liked. The problem is that if you care too much about others' opinions, you become their servant. If you often find yourself in this situation, I will share with you an effective method to reclaim your autonomy and show the world that you value yourself. This method is called walking away. Walking away may seem rude, but sometimes it is necessary to create a sense of empowerment in a situation. Today, I will take you deep into the heart of Stoic philosophy, where we will explore how walking away is not only an act of protection, but also a strong declaration of freedom and self-respect. Sometimes, to achieve peace and self-control in life, you need the courage to leave. Not because you don't care, but because you care about yourself more. Let us explore why Stoic philosophers regard walking away as the highest form of inner strength and how it can free you from the binds of dependency and acceptance. Welcome to a journey that will change not only how you view relationships, but also how you live and love. Number 1. Rediscovering Purpose and Direction Do you know that our greatest strength is not persistent effort, but the ability to recognize when it's time to let go? This is one of the most important lessons that Stoic philosophy has taught us. Letting go is not just an act of abandonment. It is a powerful choice, a wise decision to free oneself from bonds that no longer serve personal growth. When faced with the choice between continuing to pursue a path that is no longer suitable and giving up to seek a new direction, the decision to leave is sometimes the highest expression of autonomy and wisdom. Stoic philosophy emphasizes that every individual has the right and responsibility to decide their path. Only when we take responsibility for our choices can we become truly strong and independent. Seneca, a renowned Stoic philosopher, once said, If a man knows not to which port he sails, no wind is favorable. Determining goals and vision is not only the foundation for every journey, but also a solid anchor to stand firm against storms. When we decide to leave behind what no longer suits us, we also open the door to new possibilities and reshape our goals for the future. An indispensable part of rediscovering oneself is building and protecting personal boundaries. These boundaries not only help us protect our private space and emotions, but also maintain our direction in life. This is especially important in today's context, as the world becomes increasingly complex and demands that we continually adapt to relentless changes. The process of adjusting goals is not a single act, but a continuous process requiring self-awareness and a strong capacity to adapt. In Stoic philosophy, this is seen as an essential part of life, helping us maintain flexibility and the ability to respond to life's changes. Let's turn to the story of Elizabeth, a talented journalist who made a courageous decision to leave a stable job at a prestigious magazine to pursue an independent writing career. During her tenure, she was known for her sharp abilities and strong writing style. But she always felt that her current work environment did not allow her to fully exploit her creative potential. The constraints on content and commercialism prevented Elizabeth from writing about topics she was truly passionate about. This change was not easy for Elizabeth. Leaving behind a stable income and a position many admired required a lot of courage. Moreover, moving to freelance work brought many unforeseen challenges, from finding publishing opportunities to managing finances and work time. Nonetheless, to create meaningful works that reflect the social issues she cares about, Elizabeth was determined to pursue this new path. During the transition, Elizabeth spent a lot of time researching and developing personal projects. She started with blogging and then expanded to publishing ebooks and participating in online community projects. Gradually, her works began to gain attention and credibility from the reading community, opening up new opportunities and an increasingly successful writing career. Elizabeth's decision not only brought her creative freedom, but also helped her live truthfully to herself and the values she pursued. 
Leaving is not just the end of an old chapter, but also the beginning of a new, promising, and developing one. By daring to leave what no longer serves our purpose and personal development, we not only find freedom and strength, but also discover ourselves more deeply. This is the most solid stepping stone for us to continue our journey in search of meaning and happiness in life. Have you ever felt stuck in a situation or relationship, and how did you find the strength to leave? Share your experience in the comments section below. Number 2. The Struggle to Break Free Many people are haunted by something to the point of fear. Have you ever been in this state, and how did you overcome that feeling? Fear is very normal, and a brave person doesn't necessarily have to be fearless. A courageous person is likely someone who has suffered a lot, but always knows how to overcome these conflicts. The life of each hero has the footprints of fear, but they knew how to face them. They overcame, continued to live, and contributed. They have won without trembling on the path of conquest. In Stoic philosophy, courage is not only about overcoming fear, but also involves a deep understanding of the origins of fear and mastering it. So how can we apply these lessons to our daily lives, especially in times when we feel the need to escape the bonds of fear, fragile hope, loss of identity, and the need for acceptance? Fear is often the biggest barrier that prevents us from acting. It hinders us from exploring new possibilities and often confines us within a false comfort zone. However, according to Stoic philosophy, accepting fear is the first step to overcoming it. Seneca once wrote, I cannot escape death, but at least I can escape the fear of it. This requires us to be willing to face our fears directly and understand their origins. Sometimes, just understanding that fear is a product of our thoughts can begin to free us. While hope can be a source of motivation, it can also be a burden if not balanced with reality. Stoic philosophy emphasizes living in the present and preparing for all outcomes, whether good or bad. This does not mean giving up hope, but not allowing hope to dictate our actions. When hope is no longer blind faith in a positive outcome but acceptance of all possibilities, we can achieve true and sustainable freedom. Sometimes, fragile hope and fear lead us to lose our identity. We may lose ourselves in struggles to maintain an image or relationship that no longer serves our best interests. Consider the example of Flynn, a talented marketing professional who always felt constrained by the pressures and expectations of his job. Flynn harbored a deep-seated fear of losing job security and the acceptance of colleagues and superiors, which prevented him from exploring other career opportunities that might better align with his true passion for art and creativity. Every day at work, Flynn felt stressed and exhausted, but a fragile hope for a higher position and better salary kept him enduring. However, one particularly stressful meeting made him realize that he was gradually losing his true identity and no longer recognized the person in the mirror. He began to read about Stoic philosophy and learn to accept that not everything is within his control, but how he reacts to them is his choice. Eventually, Flynn decided to leave his marketing job to pursue his passion for art. This decision was not easy, and he faced rejection from his family and friends, but he felt an unprecedented sense of freedom. Flynn now spends his time creating meaningful artworks, each painting a declaration of his newfound identity and inner strength. One of the biggest challenges when we try to break away from the familiar is the fear of isolation or rejection. However, Stoic philosophy teaches that true acceptance can only come from within. Marcus Aurelius reminds us, remember that all things are only opinions and that it is in your power to think as you please. When we learn to accept ourselves and no longer depend on others' acceptance, we are truly free. The battle to free ourselves from bonds, whether they are fears, fragile hopes, loss of identity, or the need for acceptance, is a challenging but worthwhile journey. Stoic philosophy provides a solid framework to face and overcome these challenges, helping us not just survive but thrive from these experiences. So where will you start on this journey? Look within, face the truth, and realize that every step, no matter how small, is a step forward on the path to freedom and self-awareness. Number 3. Stoic Responses to Conflict and Crisis 
In every person's life, conflict and crisis are inevitable. What matters is not the challenges we face, but how we choose to confront them. Stoicism, with its rich history from ancient times, offers us tools to perceive and manage difficult situations with calm and purpose, particularly the concept of detachment, often misunderstood, is a manifestation of spiritual strength and self-control. Begin by clearly recognizing that not all elements of life are within our control. As Marcus Aurelius, a revered emperor and Stoic philosopher, once said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. In the context of conflict or crisis, it's crucial to distinguish what we can change, essentially how we choose to receive and respond to those events. Detachment is not a sign of weakness, rather, it can be a strong decision reflecting a conscious choice to prevent mental or moral harm to ourselves. Epictetus, a slave who rose to become a respected philosopher, taught profound lessons on self-mastery. He advised that we should not let external circumstances dictate our emotions or decisions. Instead, we should focus on what we can control, how we perceive and react to the world around us. Throughout his life, Epictetus witnessed many injustices and sufferings, but he chose not to cope through blame or despair. Instead, he sought peace and tranquility by building and strengthening his inner character, relinquishing things that no longer served or aligned with his values. This not only protected him from unnecessary pain, but also allowed him to develop a resilient and free spirit, unbound by external factors. Through this, Epictetus became a living example of mastering one's fate, showing that proper detachment can lead to liberation and profound personal growth. In the modern world, we face similar situations. In a rapidly changing industry like technology, divergences in strategic vision can lead to deep conflicts. As was the case with Alex, a tech CEO who bravely applied stoic philosophy to major decisions in his career. Alex was not only the founder of a software company, but also its CEO, introducing innovations and ideas that shaped the tech industry. However, as the company grew, the board increasingly wanted to focus on short-term profits rather than the sustainable innovation that Alex supported. Faced with the pressure to change his vision to meet market demands, Alex faced a tough choice. Stick it out and fight with the board or step down to maintain his integrity and expertise. Inspired by Epictetus's lessons on accepting what is beyond one's control and focusing on what one can control, Alex decided that stepping down was the best way to free himself from a situation that no longer aligned with his values and passions. This decision allowed Alex to start a new project where he could reaffirm his commitment to innovation and sustainable development. The new project quickly drew attention for its focus on green technology solutions, which Alex was passionate about. Instead of being stuck in a contentious environment, Alex now leads a like-minded team, contributing to the development not just of technology, but also of society, reaffirming his belief in the stoic philosophy he followed. True freedom lies in choosing how we respond to the world around us. Leaving in a context of conflict and crisis is not only a viable choice, but also a manifestation of inner strength and autonomy. Stoic philosophy reminds us that sometimes letting go of what no longer serves us well may be the most important step in protecting our inner peace and maximizing personal growth. Your perspective is very valuable to us. Have you ever found strength in leaving a situation that no longer serves you well? How have you applied this philosophy in your personal life or career? Please share your insights in the comments. Number 4. The Power of Walking Away In the journey of personal development, everyone will inevitably face a choice to hold on or let go. Holding on is difficult, but is letting go any easier? The act of letting go might sound light, but behind it lies countless layers and myriad obstacles accumulated throughout a lifetime. Expectations, fears, lack of trust, ingrained thoughts, past traumas, and more. Despite all these, the idea of surrendering and flowing with the stream, following one's instincts, and embracing whatever comes next remains tantalizing, sparking the glimmer of hope for a life transformed. 
In this context, the power of personal will shines like a lighthouse, illuminating the path ahead. Stoic philosophy emphasizes that true strength is not the ability to control others but to control oneself. By choosing to leave an unhealthy environment or a painful relationship, we are not merely giving up, we are exercising our internal power. This is not just an act of self-defense, but a declaration that we are in control of our fate and direction. Epictetus, one of the great Stoic philosophers, once said, Freedom is the only worthy goal in life. Rejecting something is not merely saying no. It is a powerful declaration of one's values and self-respect. Every time we refuse to continue a bad habit, leave a job that no longer suits us, or end a toxic relationship, we affirm that we deserve to live in peace and happiness. The question for you, have you ever had to decide to let go of what no longer serves your purpose to embrace true freedom? Nelson Mandela, through his life and career, became a symbol of perseverance and forgiveness. Born in a country rife with racial discrimination, Mandela not only refused to harbor hatred, but also chose the path of forgiveness and reconciliation, a rare decision in a tense and confrontational era. During his 27-year imprisonment, most of which was spent in the harsh conditions of Robben Island, he was subjected to severe confinement and strict surveillance. During those years, Mandela used his time not to nurture hatred but to reflect and plan for the future of the country. He refused to become a victim of circumstances and instead chose education as his weapon. Mandela pursued law through correspondence and also taught other prisoners, turning the prison into an informal classroom. This not only helped him and the other prisoners maintain their spirits, but also contributed to nurturing a new generation of leaders for South Africa. Upon his release in 1990, the world witnessed a Mandela with no intention of revenge. He stood firm on the path of reconciliation and acceptance, calling for unity and healing in a deeply divided nation. Mandela's refusal of hatred and injustice transformed into a positive acceptance of a future of peace and prosperity, not only for himself, but for the entire nation of South Africa. Mandela's story is a vivid testament to how setting legitimate limits for oneself and rejecting what no longer serves a greater purpose can lead to positive changes, not only in one's personal life, but also across the nation. His resilience and foresight have been an inspiration to millions, not just in South Africa but worldwide, exemplifying the power of kindness and vision. When we refuse something, sometimes it is not just an end, but also a new beginning. Refusal frees us from the bindings of the past and others' expectations, opening doors to new possibilities and space to breathe, reflect, and positively recreate ourselves. How do you feel about allowing yourself to be unbound by things that no longer serve you? Is it a freeing act, a significant step you can take to liberate yourself from unnecessary bindings and truly begin living the life you deserve? By exploring and applying these principles, we can not only live as Stoics, but also teach ourselves how to become truly free, not just in action, but in thought and emotion. The key to unlocking this door is the will and courage to say no when necessary, allowing us to say yes to the life we deserve to live. Number 5. See emotional detachment as a strength. In Stoic philosophy, there is a powerful and often misunderstood lesson about the strength of walking away, detaching from emotions, and leaving situations that no longer serve us. This not only requires courage, but also the wisdom to recognize when a past no longer adds value. Emotional detachment is not just a skill. It is a core part of inner strength. Stoicism does not encourage us to deny our emotions. Instead, it teaches us to observe and identify emotions without allowing them to cloud our clarity. By objectively acknowledging and accepting emotions, we can prevent ourselves from being drawn into negative reactions and instead focus on the most beneficial actions. One of the strongest actions we can take is to leave a situation. This does not mean giving up easily but recognizing when a situation is no longer worth the emotional time or energy investment. Properly walking away is an expression of self-control and wisdom. 
the ability to look beyond immediate confusions and towards long-term benefits. Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and one of the greatest Stoic philosophers, left many valuable lessons about emotional detachment. For example, in managing his empire, Marcus Aurelius frequently applied this principle to maintain his stance and not be swayed by difficulties or temptations. When we learn to walk away from situations that no longer serve our purpose, we not only free ourselves from unnecessary burdens, but also open up opportunities for personal growth and the pursuit of happiness elsewhere. This requires the courage to admit that not every struggle needs to continue and that not every relationship or circumstance is beneficial for our personal development. Epictetus, another Stoic philosopher, once said, we are disturbed not by events, but by the views which we take of them. This advice reminds us of the importance of maintaining a stable mindset and not being swayed by external events. This is especially important in today's age of information explosion, where news and events can easily distract and detract from our focus. By analyzing the separation of emotions as a strength in Stoic philosophy, we can see that sometimes detachment is not just an act of giving up, but a strategic choice to maximize satisfaction and success in life. This is a valuable lesson in building a meaningful life, while maintaining balance and happiness in any situation. As we conclude today's video, take a moment to reflect on the times when you decided to walk away in your life. Have you ever felt that it was a difficult decision, but ultimately brought you peace and strength? How has detachment helped you find serenity and refocus on what matters? Stoic philosophy is not just a doctrine, but a way of life. Each choice to detach, each decision to not follow an old path, is a manifestation of inner power and autonomy. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Have you applied the power of detachment in any situation? Your stories will inspire our community. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you find this video helpful. Share this video with those who you think could also benefit from Stoic philosophy. Continue to watch the upcoming videos displayed at the end of today's video, so you don't miss out on the journey of pursuing Stoic philosophy. Let's expand the influence of autonomy and tranquility together.